was a look at the new movie about her life. So your new documentary is called Pretty Baby. So why did now feel like the right time to make this? Is it because your kids are older? Because no, do they know about a lot of that? They, they do now. They do now, and they yeah. didn't uh, before the documentary, and that was a mistake. That was a, a bad mommy moment really? for me because I should have prepped them a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but so much of the way we live our life is so so compartmentalized. You know, I'm not. Yeah. We don't live in LA. We we live in the city. We just you know they don't really know a lot about. Like, I don't. We don't have. We don't hang out a lot in yeah. sort of the They're entertainment industry. They're not exposed to that. They're not yeah. exposed to it, and they mm -hmm. go to regular schools. And so I think I was protecting them from a lot of that. Um, but also, we were just living our lives, and I was just mom. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't have all my movies on a loop like a crazy yeah. old lady. You know, did going, you see my work? <laughs> yeah, look here. at how funny your mother is. Oh wait, wait, it's good birds coming up. Um, <laughs> you know, and so I think that they, I felt we've been asked many times to do a documentary, and. Yeah. They just always either felt like e true Hollywood stories or where are they nows or some More exploit, tabloid, exploit, yeah, yeah. you know, exploitation. And um, George Stephanopoulos and Ali Wentworth, their production company, and I really trusted them. Trust it, yeah. And they sat me down and said, we would like this to be not just you, this, yes, it's all me, the whole show, but it's the exploration of sort of sexuality in America. Because it's way more than the, just you no, when you watch it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's about the objectification of young women yeah. and sexualization of young women. And how and that at that time, shifted. what was accepted. Yep. And people, I, I couldn't yeah. make any of the movies I made now. You couldn't yeah. make them. So I thought, okay, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to implicitly trust. And I had just archived all of my material. My mom kept everything. So I had a room chock-a-block full with like beta, half inch, quarter inch. Like I've been around that long that all the formats were different. Oh my God. <laughs> and I digitized That's awesome. she kept it. everything. Oh, she kept yeah. everything. And it opened up a whole conversation between us that we didn't, amongst us, that we didn't, I don't know if I would have had. That's what I was going to say because they didn't know about the sexual assault, right? Mm -hmm. So did they find out like Viewing this? My one daughter did. Yeah. And and oh, I Wow. I How I do mean, you bring it up? I get and like, yeah, what are, so let's talk way. about Yeah. Yeah, no, um, that's hard. That's I, a hard conversation in general. But what was it like afterwards though? Because also I think it's a lesson. Like it's a good lesson for your daughters, like for all women watching. Yes, I mean I think that's that is why I chose to include it, because yeah. I couldn't say that I was doing a full, you know, authentic, open documentary and then not just be, be coy yeah. about that or hide that or not, you know, I, I, I needed it to be just honest and also a teaching moment or a t um, an opportunity to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. And my older daughter actually was privy to, to the incident. Um, my younger daughter wasn't. And then that was another whole thing. How come she knew and I didn't know? And, yeah. and I, you know, I was trying to say, but look how healthy we are, and I am, and I'm not yeah. a victim. And this stuff happens. It's been happening. It can't That's happen That's the most anymore. remarkable part. Can I point that out? It's the most remarkable thing. I was talking with my executive producer, my manager, um, this morning, and I was like, it is incredible watching this that you did turn out so, like, sane and, like, <laughs> not on, you know, a lot of child actors, especially going through what you went through and exposed to things that you were maybe uncomfortable with and didn't know to say no and, like, didn't even know what was happening, like, a lot of those people go down the line of drugs and alcohol and like rehab and like, you know, those people die young. Like, let's be honest. Like, so <clears throat> it's remarkable how amazing you are and like how just even you are, like balanced yeah, thank you, you are. You. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's in, it's incredible. Thank you. And I also think, I, lo I love that you said it, you know, I don't carry the victim mentality. Like it's not, not a victim, you're a survivor of something. Right. And, 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 it, and it's how you move forward through mm -hmm. these things in your life. And I, you know, I, I do attribute a lot to my mother because she did keep me out of the mania. Um, and you know, it, that was the paradox. She put me in certain situations and that, people had a problem with, and I understand that. Yeah. And then but the flip side is I was really protected in a very interesting way. Yeah. <laughs> and she was such a raging alcoholic, not a rager, but a very hardcore alcoholic. And my whole focus was keeping her alive. So I had this- a weight that should not be on. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's that one moment where I stick up for her mm -hmm. and, and you know, it's the you way the press treated us and what was 
acceptable, whether it's, you know, asking me my measurements on nationwide television, asking me to stand up, Barbara Walters did that, and compared herself to me, and just the sort of the approach that they had in, in asking me questions as a 12-year-old was really just unconscionable. And to see that... It, like, stirs rage. It, it does. Yeah. It does. I mean, as a mom, too, mm -hmm. I, I, it just breaks my heart to see that little girl. But, you know, I went to regular schools. I went to college. I always had this knowledge that if I don't have something that's going to keep me grounded, I'm going to get eaten up by this business. I am going yeah. to just get lost in it, and it's, gonna, it's going to obliterate me. And then what will I have? And I knew I needed something grounding. I knew I needed a family. Maybe that's what saved you, is stepping outside of that Absolutely. and doing something more normal. And just seeing your... another world and not, and, and, and being, being a kid, you know, the, having that sort of experience. And then I also wanted to win. Do yeah. you know what I mean? I wanted to prove to other people, but to myself, that you can't, I'm, I'm right here and I have grown into yeah. this person, and I'm like a weeble. You're not gonna knock me over. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. I'm right back. So. I love that.